Hey guys, Caleb Gessner here with Duck and Lad Dental CPAs and Advisors bringing you another video in our Acquisitions Academy. Today, I want to give you three tips on how to better prepare yourself to manage your new employees post-purchase. You know, we're, we're living in this era right now called the Great Resignation. There are more job opportunities than job seekers. Uh, people are leaving their jobs at a, at a quicker rate than ever before. This can be stressful to think about, especially if you are in the, the process of acquiring a practice. But really, once you acquire that practice and you sit down and realize, oh, man, I have employees I got to think about now. I want to give you three tips on how to better manage these employees. And one of them, our first tip is, is something that you can be doing during the due diligence process and even before you negotiate an LOI when you're, when you're entering into the, the phase of knowing that this practice is right for me. You, you take the next steps forward. You have your, your CPA start reviewing the financials. You're in talks with your attorney. I encourage you, if the, if the selling doctor is open, sit down with the employees. Have conversations with them. You know, treat them as human beings. This is a change for them, too. Uh, something we encourage all of our buying dentists to do is have a five-year conversation with uh, the current employees uh, on the in the practice that you're you're looking at buying. You know, uh, ask them: Are they happy in their job? Are they happy with what they're doing? What does their life look like, both professionally and personally, over the next five years? Um, this is something we encourage all of our buying dentists to do. We think that this helps you build rapport with your your future employees, and it it, it helps lay the framework for that relationship that, that you're about to enter into. The second piece of advice I have for you is we don't recommend making any changes to pay or benefits to employees, uh, current pay and, and benefits packages post-purchase. And, you know, that it is a stressful time for the employees um, when they know that the selling doctor is, is selling, you know, they, they're worried. Am I going to lose my job? Is my pay going to get decreased? Am I going to lose my vacation? Am I going to lose my PTO? Now, once you own the practice, obviously, it is up to you to, to make these changes and make these decisions what's best for your practice. However, um, in terms of managing your employees, we typically recommend that at least the first year, you, you keep pay consistent and the benefits consistent with what they had previously. And, and, and this leads into the next tip. You know, I get asked a lot, uh, when I'm talking with dentists who are acquiring a practice, they, Caleb, you know, how long do I need to keep employees? How long do I need to guarantee they have a job? How long do I need to guarantee all of these things you're, you're, you're talking about um, before I can make any changes? And, and typically what we see is, you know, in the LOI and, and, and in the purchase documents, we're, we're going to recommend that you give the current employees a six month evaluation period. You know, let them know, hey, your job is safe for 60 or for, for six months. Um, you know, there's not going to be any drastic changes barring, you know, nothing incredibly crazy happens. So, you know, they're stealing money from you or, or God forbid, anything worse happen. Um, you know, keeping these things consistent, letting them know that, that they're in a safe environment, that their job is secure, uh, pay is not going to be changed, benefits aren't going to be changed, and that they're going to have that six month window uh, to make sure that the the working relationship goes by both ways you like them uh, as an employee and they like you as a boss you want you want to make sure that that two-way road of communication and trust is established uh, post-purchase if you guys have any questions like always you can go to our website duckatlad.com fill out a work together form i would also encourage you to go join our Dental Momentum Facebook group. You can find that uh, on the Ducket Lad Facebook page. There's a link there for you to join our Facebook group. We'd love uh, to, to see you guys on there, uh, give you guys some more content like this every week. Hope to see you guys soon.